into the Transforming India Conclave 2023 at SSVM World School. Keep your eyes wide open to witness this scintillating performance. Your drawings are really interesting. You seem to be quite a visionary. Okay, now I have someone in my mind who can transform India. Do you all want to see who that is? Some of you form a line. Want to see who that is? Yes, yes ma'am.
It's a very special day, I have to say. Every year, September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd is the most remarkable day in this SSVM institution. And today I'm so delighted and I'm so honored having three great people in this uh, stage. So I thank even in their busy schedule, they have made, they have given the time for us. So here we have with us our Lieutenant General, Ajay Kumar Singh. They guard the borders. Today we are all so happy. And we are, every day when we get up, we get up with a great energy. It's all because of them. So thank you, sir, for your presence. And again, I have to say, a proud parent of rural years, None other, our parent, I have to proudly say, our district collector, Kranti Kumar Pati. And the next educationalist who is known throughout the world for what we are working for and thinking for is none other than Sonam Wanshu. They have given the time for us. So transformation starts where? It starts from the students, it starts from the teacher, it starts from the parent, yes, from the institutions also. Because each one of us, we think, we just point out our hands and say, India has to develop. Sure, India will develop. How does it, how can it? It's only we who have to bring that change. So that was the concept in the promo video what we did. Only an individual in this universe who, who is always having a search can be a big transformation for yourself as well as for the country and for the world. So let's begin the Transforming India Conclave and sit back and watch how the transformations are going to happen for these three days. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. In fact, right from the time that I have set foot in uh, this premises of this wonderful institution, I can see palpable energy. Right from the salutes of the NCC cadets to the namaskaram given by the students, as also by the teachers, and coming right up till here, this energy is so very well evident. And I think this is the energy which denotes the transformation that India is undergoing. This particular institution is doing a wonderful work as far as the education is concerned. Uh, it has created a niche in itself within a short period since its inception in 1998. And uh, I wish the SSVM great times ahead. This particular event that has been organized, Transforming India Conclave, and the theme that has been put, unleashing the power in you, I think is the need of the hour. I think it's, I must compliment you, congratulate you on this wonderful initiative and wish this wonderful initiative the very best. Our spiritual heritage says, Aham Brahmasmi, you have the power within you. And that's what we are talking today. That power has to be unleashed. We also say, Tattva Masi, it is there within you. So that is the power that you have to unleash. This is the most professional army in the entire world. Every citizen of this country must be proud of this great, very professional Indian army. Today, when the world wants to know about the high altitude and glaciated warfare, they don't go anywhere, they come to India. Today, when the world wants to know about counter-insurgency and counter-terrorist operation, where do they go? They come to India. When the world wants to learn about jungle warfare, where do they go? They want to come to India. In the United Nations today, wherever there is a requirement of forces, they are looking at the Indian Army and the Indian Army officers. And to make India the greatest country, which it is, which it was, and which it will always remain. Thank you. Jai Hind. Namaste, everyone. Here we are at the SSVM Transforming India Conclave 2023. An event that's all about unleash the power within you. I'd like to spotlight some of those incredible stories unfolding 
in this auditorium over the next few days. And our student entrepreneurs and inspirational educators, you are the ones who have demonstrated that combining dreams with hard work can lead to truly extraordinary outcomes. So, thank you for that. As you stand on the brink of your next adventures, remember this. Your passions act as your compass, directing you towards your genuine potential. While the road ahead may be filled with a lot of bumps, those very bumps contain so some of our most important life's valuable lessons. Embrace the unknown, be open to trying new things, and forge your own path without fear. So I wish to invite the Director of Education, Ms. Trisha, please come on stage. It's such a delight to see you all here today. And I extend a very heartfelt welcome to all of you to SSVM institutions. Let me give you a few examples. Curiosity, empathy, and initiative goes hand in hand to form the foundation behind learning. Not education, but learning. I also want to express my gratitude to our SSVM community and all the award recipients today from various schools across the country who share our passion for student entrepreneurship and have supported their students in being a part of this SSVM's Transforming India Conclave 2023. Jai Hind. All the dignitaries on and off the stage, my dear students, a very good morning to all of you. So today, what will succeed is yourself. Nobody can give you a formula. This, this is the formula for success and this is how you will succeed. And this is, you know, you have to pa pass class 10, you have to go to St. Stephen's or you have to go to somewhere. No, that may not work today. Even after going to St. Stephen's and Harvard, you may be unemployable and uh, most probably unemployed also. It is uh, very much possible. We are limited by our imagination and uh, with each generation, our imagination gets outdated. And we rely, really rely on the kids of today to, ha to open up with this uh, imagination. Good morning, Coimbatore. Good morning. Greetings from Ladakh. Greetings, warm greetings from a rather cold Ladakh. I'm so happy to be among you all and <clears throat> this vibrant warmth that I feel in this school and uh, the amount of energy uh, here everywhere in this school has charged me, touched me, stimulated me and I thank you for that. In today's India, the need of the R is for each one to feel responsible as if I'm the only one person. If not me, who? If not now, when? Is the spirit that uh, we'll need to transform this country. <laughs> redefine is the word. I'll redefine education to uh, not stick to what started 300 years ago when we wanted to exploit, <laughs> produce, consume. Today we need to heal the planet. So if you put the same fuel, you'll get the same poison. You need to put medicines if you want to heal the planet. We only think of stabbing people and killing people as sin. Actually, we are living very sinful lives when we drive our big cars, our fly, our aeroplanes. We are today, air, air pollution alone kills 7 million people. And that comes to the level of death at World War I and Two. So what are all difficulties you find in this works? Challenges are very relative. Huh? If you, it's all about what you expect. If you expect no challenges, if you expect a flat tarmac, 
of a road, then any little pebble is a challenge. But if you expect a rough road with all kinds of boulders and so on, then all problems are no problems. Great. So put your hands together and let's welcome Rahul and Mukesh for the Indian Acrobat performance. But what I decided to do instead is to speak about another topic, talk the algorithms of strategic laziness. Because a lazy engineer automates everything that you need to do so that you focus on doing the more interesting, most joy-giving activities in your life, right? To, to paraphrase Sonam Wangchuk from before, learning F for fan is not the interesting thing, right? But making food is far, far more interesting. So in a sense, the whole idea was to really think hard about how you can automate all the things that you want in your life, replace your labor with AI and automation where it's non-value adding, and extend it where human creativity makes a huge difference. Occasionally, rearranging the Rubik's Cube stickers is perfectly OK. Thank you. Yeah, I have something to say because there are so many parents here as well as online they are watching. We think that our uh, profession our, or our business is not that very good for our children to take it up. Because I see so many parents who come back and say, Ma'am, uh, I don't want my son or my daughter to take my business. But I would always say the parents, never think like that. Wherever you go, try to Take them along with you. As in how uh, Gita spoke, even in your dining table when you are going to talk about your business, knowingly or unknowingly, your child is getting influenced. See, that's the best influence that you can do for your next generation. Because when they learn things through you, you will not know when they are 25 or 30, that's the experience that they have got. That's the true life experience that they have learned through you. So they will take care of the legacy of what has been built by you or their grandparents. So you tell us, what are the challenges you thought were coming your way? I have to be the right example, do the right things, um, and make sure I you know, uh, I'm conscious of what I'm doing so that I set the right example. Uh, when I was growing up, I always knew I wanted to come back. Uh, to Kwambato and make a difference in this society. Wow, I think we should give her a round of applause for that. <laughs> what about you? Because I feel like I'm in that beginning phase of I've just come back. It's been a year since I've come back into work. But I definitely understand what you said because I think when I was younger, I watched them start everything, grow it. So there was, you know, things being in the family already and then things that they started afresh. So watching that as a kid, do you think that that's exactly what I also need to do when I grow up? That's truly said. Both the parents have said how you should subconsciously or consciously unleash the power within your children from a very, very young age. So congratulations and thank you very, very much. Let's hear it for the four of them. A huge, huge round of applause. Superman is here, look at Laser Man on stage. Get set for a few minutes of an out of the world experience. Yeah. 
You haven't reserved your table, but you have your seat. Presenting the man who knows to make the perfect dish and make our mouth water and our minds transform. I definitely feel older in this room for sure. I I don't feel that often. Uh, everybody keeps telling me you look younger for your age, but today I feel a little older. Um, you know, my grandfather used to say one thing, and I think it will resonate with a lot of people in this room. Uh, he used to say, "A friend in need is a friend indeed, but a friend who can feed is the friend you need." That sometimes you have to keep knocking on the same door until it opens for you. Um, I had so many options in my life. I could have worked with my dad. I could have been a sponsor for Gadar too, probably. Or um, you know, I could have failed as a caterer and gone back to the Leelas to work as a chef. Sometimes rejections and failures come in your life for a reason. They take you on a journey which you will never forget. And when you take something that you love and you put money to it, it changes. All the best and congratulations to all the young ones.